Okay. Um, so um, we import to Ginter and we import to Ginter dot TTK as TTK because we want to use TTK sub module of the Ginter to make nicer widgets. So we are going to create our window like usual with root equal to Ginter dot TK. Uh, now we get our window and now we put our main loop at the end of, of the code. Uh, now I'm going to create um, a radio button. So uh, I'm going to use TTK dot radio button so it will look nicer and the TTK radio button it has uh, some options mm, and I want to attach it to the to the root now if we take a look at uh, how the, uh, this works um, we are going to um, Let me see uh, how our code on the latest, latest article that I made for our uh, Python programming dot um, dot org and so as you can see on my site uh, we will have a very um, easy way to make radio buttons so they have um, values text values and variable uh, you gotta tell three things to uh, to the computer to make the radio button so um, if you want to make something more clear you can use uh, a variable let me see vss ttk t uh, to kinter dot um, int var because this is an object that is taken from the kinter and this is a variable okay this will be the variable and this is the same thing for all the radio buttons that I will put into my program. Um, then I'm gonna I'm gonna make some T and V list of of tuples where I have my uh, the text and the values of each button. Uh, let's say image one. And the value will be will be one. Then I have another tuple that is image two with the value two. And then we have the third image, image three with value three. And I close all my tuples here. So this is a list of tuple. Okay, with square buttons we got a list. And in the round uh, um, round parentheses, I have tuples. These are immutable. And so um, let's put it all right. Now we can make a for loop where we have um, for uh, text and value uh, and and uh, we got this two stuff and value in t and v text and value list uh, for each one of these we are going to uh, create a radio button that is a ttk radio button so it will look nicer and then we have radio button um, radio button attach it to the root and then we have a text that is equal um, equal t n v okay because uh, in this for loop we get two um, two values that are instructed from 
this this list and for each element of this list the first value is text so I can call it T and the second is a value that is this one so I will use text equal T let's make it simpler then we will have value equal V and then we will have variable equal something that doesn't change that VS okay this value is throwing this um, this value this is an integer let's call it VE okay our value integer integer let's call it event inter integer okay so it's more intuitive so um, we get our value after that we are going to rb.pack our our radio buttons and that's all it should work so this all the radio buttons taking text and values from T and V okay mm, so we can delete this don't need this anymore we are so we should create our thing here let's see if it works and here it is okay you see image one image two image three mm. as you will probably notice this run run circle here the circles here um, are a little bit different from the one uh, that could appear if we don't use TTK sub module it will be there will be a little border something that is a little more less aesthetic than this mm, so with TTK you have something that is nicer and more linked to the uh, to the operating system that you're using thank you